Hey everyone, Sam here, and I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but today I'm actually going to be testing out uh, the Logitech G29 racing wheel that comes equipped with the pedals, so it's got a gas, brake and clutch, and also a gear shifter as well, along with the racing wheel, and I've got the whole rig set up with PlayStation VR for the PS4 and Gran Turismo Sport. So this is the whole setup. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the setup now. So this is the whole setup. Now, as you can see, this is the PlayStation VR. You've got the rig here as well that comes with a chair. And as I move over, you have the actual steering wheel. This is for the PlayStation 4 and PC. You have the gear shifter and also the three pedals. So you can actually drive a manual car as well because you've got the clutch brake and gas as well and then i've got the playstation on the floor it's all set up ready to go ready to be put on this big screen right here and of course you've got the camera for the playstation vr so i'm going to go ahead set up the camera and i'm going to be playing gran turismo sport and see how realistic this whole driving setup actually feels okay so i'm just going to start up uh, gran turismo now and then I'm going to pop on the VR headset. Now, in order for this experience to be very authentic, I'm going to be switching off all driving aids. So no computer driving, nothing is going to be helping me. All right, VR headset is on. Let's reset the screen. Let's go to VR Drive. Now, in terms of the cars, you've got a Mazda Roadster, Toyota GT, Volkswagen Golf GTI, Alfa Romeo 4C, uh, an M4, BMW M4, Lexus RCF GR. That looks quite nice. Uh, Mercedes AMG, but like a really racy version of it. And a Mitsubishi Evo, so even a rally car as well. Um, I am going to pick I think I'm going to pick the Alpha, A, because I like Alpha, it's rear wheel drive as well, I believe. Um, so it's going to be quite fun, it's got a good amount of power, it's very light, so we're going to go ahead and choose the Alpha. Okay, so I picked the Alpha 4C, I've switched traction control right off, uh, there's no driving aids whatsoever, no auto drive, driving lane assist off, braking indicator off, low fuel indicator off, active stability management off, counter steering assistance off, and even ABS off. So, no driving aids whatsoever. Um, this should be interesting. And look at that, you can look around really see the car this is insane it feels like these are my arms the driving position is so oh my bloody hell this is braking really hard remember there's no abs to save you so oh my <laughs> this is insane oh you have to get one of these you have to get one of these if you like cars if you're into any type of racing, you have never experienced a racing game until you have this setup. This is like nothing else before. Holy moly, you really feel the speed. You feel the G-forces even. I don't know how my brain is tricking me into thinking this is real. And therefore, when I go around the corner, I can actually feel the G-forces. I have to say, I've been driving this just for a little while now, and I'm telling you, with all the driving aids off, ah! <laughs> oh, with all the driving aids off, this is the way it handles the car. I'm telling you, this is like a real car. This feels like I'm driving a real car. The way it responds, um, you can tell this is this is not any computer influence i know it sounds ridiculous because i am literally using a computer to simulate all this however the way they got the physics of a car for example when you go around the corner rear wheel drive car you give it too much throttle the way they got the physics in this game forget about it this is as real as it's going to get this is absolutely insane the only thing i don't like is because it's such a crazy experience my 
my body is taking it like it's real. I'm actually starting to sweat. I can feel my heart rate increasing. And because of because I'm starting to sweat, the goggles on the VR are starting to fog up a little bit. <laughs> and it's causing a little bit of blur, which is quite annoying right now because I'm kind of seeing the track through fogged up VR goggles. But apart, I mean, that's, that's just my body's reaction, that is. That's not, that's, that's nothing I can really criticize about the game or the setup or anything. Um, holy moly, maybe if they put in a few air vents into the VR headset might, might be uh, quite useful because this is, like, it reacts. Like if I give it too much power around the corner, for example, if I give just a bit too much throttle, you get the back end out, you can just initiate a drift. And it's real, you have to counter steer, you have to use the throttle, feather the throttle, uh, uh, and use the steering at the same time to balance out the car, just like it is in real life. There is no, you know, computer trickery going on. If I give too much throttle again, you can just sort of get a bit of a drift going. It is so much fun. This is absolutely insane. I cannot wait to try the other cars they have available because Oh, too quick, too quick, too quick. Ah! There we go. Just about saved it. If, I'm telling you, at the moment you take your mind off what you're actually doing, you can crash like that because it's it's that realistic. You have to actually concentrate constantly. What corner is that? How steep is not how steep, but how tight is the corner? How much brake do I have to apply? How quick do I have to go around? How much throttle do I have to give so I don't completely <laughs> lose control of the car because I'm telling you with no ABS no traction control none of those driving aids you're driving like a real car this is the, there's no bullshit about it that was intense wow oh and I'm gonna go ahead and go straight with the fastest car here the Mercedes AMG and it's like a race version of it oh, traction control is off all driving assists are off good i can imagine a car like this probably gonna be quite a boring lap a lot of wheel spin there very bad start very bad start too much throttle on the bad start Ooh. okay maybe maybe not boring this is oh my god oh my god oh my god Oh my, okay, completely misjudged that speed there. All right, let me get my head in the game. This, I've got to remember, I'm still used to the Alpha. This is a lot faster, you're going to break a lot harder. Oh my god, I almost this, <laughs> this is insane. Okay, I need to concentrate, because the more I talk, you know, you can't talk and drive at the same time, as weird as that sounds, at least driving in an environment like this, this is cool. All right, bring it in, bring it in, full flat, 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 gear four. Oh. oh, you really have to struggle with this car, gear five. All right, you've got a sharp bend coming, and brake, brake really hard. Obviously, no ABS, so you see what I mean? Once you're braking, the steering wheel is, for all intents and purposes, useless. <laughs> This is absolutely epic. People, without traction control, without any driving aids, this is like driving an absolute, absolute beast of a machine. You really have to be on form to handle this car. You can't for a second lose, your, uh, lose any concentration because it is going to completely completely destroy you this is absolutely insane oh my god okay we've got one more lap but what i'm going to do because i don't want this video oops i don't want this video to be hours long uh but i'm definitely going to make a part two of this video trying out the cars in more detail i'm going to try i want to try the mitsubishi evo a four-wheel drive car that car's going to have a hell of a lot more grip so let's turn traction control right off. All driving aids are off. Let's do it. Which is a 
bit of throttle, you don't want to give too much. The wheels don't spin and then angle up the throttle. Holy! <laughs> this is a... Holy shit! This is insane. Okay, this is another level. This is another level. Hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes, hard on the... Oh, turn in, turn in. Holy... much grip. Well, I am going to lift off a bit. This has got so much grip. Oh my. Oh my. Let's see how it corners around. The oh yeah. No. It doesn't. It doesn't slip. However, only because it doesn't spin out if you go too fast around the corner. Because it is four-wheel drive. It's got a lot more grip than, than any other car uh, you can drive in in this game well at least in the vr section and but i do believe once it does go if you push it too far to its limit there is no going back you can't control this car if you lose control that's that's the way it feels it might have a lot of grip so you can be <laughs> you can be quite brave around the corners however when it does go, there is no saving you. Oh my, oh my, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Really break hard here, break hard here, break hard. Feather it in, 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 and foot flat, foot flat, foot flat, four, five, and cross the line now again not going to do the second lap I think the hardest car to drive out of all of them is going to be the BMW M4 lots of power rear wheel drive it's going to be very skitsy with no driving aids at all not even ABS or traction control nothing like that uh, so traction control off all the driving aids off good I think you're going to see quite a few crashes here. <laughs> so far, very uneventful. Look at that, it actually looks... Now, I've actually driven a M3 before. So, I know it's not an M4. Break really hard. Oh, and yeah, the back end's out already. Typical BMW fashion. <laughs> okay, okay, you gotta get a feel of the car for a, for a few seconds first because you know it just takes every time you get in a new car, you just gotta get a little feel for it, what its limit is. And sorry, I'm completely distracted. I don't know what I'm doing right now. That was terrible. All right, let's let's concentrate now. Let's really get it get it going. Let's push this car to its limit. Let's see what it can do. Okay, I think I'm going to stop messing about with the BMW now. Let's actually try and drive it somewhat properly. All right, so tell happy. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's so tell happy. The slightest bit of too much throttle, and boom, you're out. It just wants to eat every corner going backwards. It is such a tell happy car. But you know what? That's what makes it fun. And that's a terrible line. Alright. Okay. Let's try the Master Roadster. Okay, these cars are actually very fun to drive in real life. All traction controls, all driving aids off again. Oh! Whoa! Holy! Oh, this has got a... Let's try the... With a... With the shifter this time. Holy moly, this feels weird. This feels amazing! And, and would you believe that now that the top's down, it actually feels I, cooler. Not cooler as in, oh, I'm cool. As in, as in temperature-wise. It actually feels like there's more air. Enjoying a nice drive here. 
This is so slow in comparison though. Oh my god, it feels... <laughs> Once you drive the really fast cars, driving something like this just, just feels incredibly boring. Um, <laughs> hey, careful. What's that guy doing? Put it down, try to do an engine brake. You don't even have to brake in this car. You're not going fast enough to... Uh... <laughs> Like, this is so slow, but it, it's cool because the top stat, look at the sky! It looks so real! Holy moly! Let's see if we can have a bit of fun. Yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of get it sliding a bit, but it's, it's very grippy for what it is. Oh, my favourite car. I have to say it's the Alpha, and I'll tell you why. The Alpha, because you can get the back end out so easily, but it's, you feel the weight. It's a very light car, only 900 something kilos, but it's got a lot of power for its weight. And for some reason, I don't know how, but you actually feel that lightness when you're driving it. This is that's not insane. Like the BMW is very similar, but it, the BMW is heavier with more power. And you feel that kind of heavy weight, kind of as it as it breaks um, around the corner. With the Alpha, it's got this kind of dartiness to it. It's kind of like quick, sort of light-footed, really fun to drive. So I'm going to use the paddle shift for the Alpha. Why am I in gear 4? Ah, oh, because it was in gear 4 there. Never mind, it's terrible. Didn't realise you had to put this back into neutral, otherwise it starts you off in gear 4 for some reason. Because if anyone would want to start in gear 4, but okay. The Alpha was definitely the most fun to drive. Like, and I'll tell you why. You go around this corner, for example, bit of boot power. Ah, you get that drift going. Oh. It's so addictive and it's so easy to control this car because it's not too much power, there's not too much speed to it, it's got, it hasn't got too much weight. It's a very, very easy car to drive and when you do hit its limit, because its limit is not, it's actually in a weird way the hardest car to get drive here because it's the most skitsy car, if that makes any sense. Like, I think a lot of people, when they drive these games, they just drive with their foot flat and, you know, just approach corners at ridiculous speeds. And... Oh, come on, control it! <laughs> oh, do you see what I mean? That's what I love. That's what I love, the skittiness of it. You're driving one second, the next minute, bang, it wants to kill you essentially and you know you have to just for that second your heart stops and it's it's so realistic because your body goes with the feeling of this being real and you actually like you start sweating your heart starts racing and you know you can really wrestle it around corners like if i wanted to drive like a madman you can and you can really, like, I'm going to drive a bit crazy now. I'm not going to take it too carefully around the corner. I'm going to give it a bit more throttle and, and really try and wrestle the car as it wants to kill me. Um, obviously, around certain corners like this, you do have to, obviously, just crash into the barrier, which is... Really, really, really fun. <laughs> I could drive laps and laps and laps in this car. It, I have to say, if you are someone who appreciates driving, if you are someone, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're getting into go-karting, maybe you're quite young, and your parents or your dad or whoever is getting you into go-karting at an early age and you're quite into it but you, and you want to drive more, you want to hone in your skills of controlling a, a car at speed uh, and you want to practice more because one day maybe that's where you want to go in your career, you want to actually become a professional driver. Ask for Christmas, ask your parents for this setup. I am telling you now, this will actually help you in learning car control. Okay, so what's my verdict on, on all of this? As I was saying, 
If you're someone who wants to get into racing, maybe do a few track days, absolutely, I, I can't recommend this enough. Get a setup like this. I will leave a link in the description to all the different parts. Uh, all together, all together, 300, 400, 50, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 50, 9, about 900 pounds altogether you're looking at maybe and if you you know buy second hand you can buy these second hand on ebay as well to be fair there's people selling their setup second hand probably save yourself quite a bit of money um definitely get one if you're serious about racing in real life and you want to you know get as much practice as you can this is the way forward i'm telling you this is so realistic uh, when you drive without the vr you don't feel connected to the car. So the VR is so essential. You will never go back to driving without VR once you've experienced the VR because it's, it, it, you, you feel the speed, you feel connected to the car. All of a sudden, your body is taking it seriously. You're taking it seriously. It's very hard to feel connected when you're just looking at the screen. Um, but I think, honestly, even if you're not looking you know, to, to race in real life and you wanna get practice, um, I think a lot of people should get a few hours in on something like this. I think this would actually be a genuinely beneficial for new drivers as a whole. Reason I say that is because at the moment with the driving tests, you know, you do all the basics, you learn how to drive a car, learn the rules of the road, all the essential stuff, sure. You never actually learn car control. And car control can be the one thing that's, that makes a difference between having an accident and not having an accident. Because if you're driving down a country lane, you're taking corners a bit too quick and it might be a bit slippery. And what do you do once, once your car loses control? What do most people do? Natural reaction is to slam the brakes, but that's not what you should be doing. Obviously, if you've never done it before, where do you practice? Where do you genuinely practice? And you see a lot of young people, you know, they practice in, in car parks, abandoned areas, whatever they, or some people even on the road where it's dangerous. And but at the end of the day, you can end up hurting someone else. You could end up crashing your car and costing yourself a lot of money. You could end up hurting yourself. It's not worth it to, you know, mess about in real life. It's, it's stupid, don't do it. Do you see what I mean? If you are gonna do something like that, take a course. Or if you don't wanna take a course, at very least do something like this, get something like this, because this will actually make you a better driver. But that doesn't mean only because you can do it in the game that you can do it outside in real life, because there's still a difference between real life and the game. The reason you can drive fast in the game, even though it is, and I'm telling you, 99.8% accurate in the way it handles and the way it feels, the reason you can still drive faster and more confidently and better in the game than in real life is because it's a game because you know you have the confidence within you. You know that should you crash, should you ha mess up, no harm done. Nothing happens, you hit reset. You're not hurt, the car's not broken, nothing actually happens. So you can mess about as much as you want in the game. You can go around corners really hard and get the back end out and do stupid stuff because you know nothing's actually bad's gonna happen, right? But in real life, there, there are real world consequences to doing that and get it wrong, you know, you're gonna be paying for those consequences. So all in all, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I am blown away. I, can, I genuinely think my life now is going to consist of being <laughs> playing this nonstop. This is going to ruin my life because it's just so much fun. The only, the only bad points I will say is Gran Turismo really is the only game that has this kind of experience, the VR experience. I bought also Crew 2, but that's not VR compatible. And the driving physics of Crew 2 is just, it's just unrealistic. The physics of driving is just not right. Um, I've also looked at Need for Speed, forget Need for Speed. I mean, probably a fun game to play with a joystick, but sh you know, with, with a driving rig, it's just so unrealistic you know it, the cars respond in a way that just no car would ever respond in real life it's it's goes against the laws of physics right and and that kind of takes the fun away the only bad thing i will say is uh the vr section is very limited you can only do a time trial or a single race like as you saw there and you only have those selection of cars which is quite a good selection they gave you you know 
cars of all different setups, different speeds, so you can get experience. But yeah, 10 out of 10. The only bad thing I will say is the whole game is in VR, it's only that section. And I really wish someone out there would make an open world driving game in VR with real physics like that, with a nice selection of cars. That would be my ultimate dream, a nice open world driving game where you can just drive on normal streets, wherever you want. Uh, there's no rules, there's no, just, just do whatever you want. Almost like uh, Grand Theft Auto, you know, without all the killing. Uh, <laughs> and the driving physics are spot on. It's in VR and, you know, you have a huge selection of cars. That would be my absolute dream. Um, it's a shame also you can't do online races in VR because uh, that would be quite fun as well. But you can still online race without VR. But like I said, without VR, it's just not the same. Once you've experienced VR, you can't go back. You can't go back. But I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, like I said, I'll leave all the links down below. Definitely, definitely, if you've got a passion for this and you've got a bit of money in your pocket to spend, 100% go for it. You will not regret it. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm, I'm like my body, I feel exhausted. Not like mentally and physically exhausted because my body felt it was real. It's not hot in here. It's not warm. It, it, I, I'm sweating because of the actual experience. Your body makes it feel, your, body, your brain tells your body it's real and your body reacts. That's what I can't get over. It is insane. Uh, yeah, but yeah, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and I'm just rambling on. Hit that subscribe button, hit like, leave a comment, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you again soon. But until next time, guys, feed your mind.